Hi guys, we've all heard the phrase, the missing link. Here in this example, we are looking for the missing length, the unknown dimension. But before we can find that, first let's establish what we're going for. What's our outcome? Our outcome here is to find the volume. And remember the definition for volume is the amount of space occupied within a solid. That's the volume. So we're looking for this volume of this kind of like upside down L kind of shape. And it's got a bit of a depth and it's got a bit of a height, but there is a missing length. But before we find that missing length, what we need to do is establish how we're going to find the area of the face. Because if you remember with volumes, first we find the area of the face, see this one in beige, times it by the depth. That's what we need to do. So in order for us to find this area of the face, we need to break it up into two different areas. Why? Because if I go this times all of that, that's not exactly going to give me what this stuff here is, is it? So I need to break it up into two spaces, two areas. So I think the decision to make the incision should be made straight across there. And I'll tell you why, because if we cut it right there, then we have all of this 60 times across here, all we need is a length, which is the one across there. We don't have that, that's the missing length. So let me show you again. This times that will give us all of this here, if I put a cut there. And then all we need to do is go that times that will give us that area there, but we'll get to that in a moment. So for now, let's break it up into two areas. So allow me to make the incision. I'm going to cut straight across there. So excuse my back while I make the incision. Okay, there's our incision straight across there, right? So it's area here, area there. Let's mark out those areas, let's label them. So I suggest we call this area here, right there, area one, and this area here, area two. Then we combine the two areas together, area one plus area two is the total face area across there. Then all we have to do is multiply by the depth, of course, in order to get the volume. Now, let's go back to what we have now. We've got these two areas, so let's actually work out area one. So area one will simply be this times that, but we don't have this missing link there. Remember I talked about that earlier? So how do we find that missing link? Well, here's a trick and a tactic, a strategy, if you like, that can help you deduce and determine what these guys are. How do we do this? Well, the trick is this, and I'm sure many teachers don't actually state this, but a few would know this. The thing is, if you're looking for a missing length in a complex shape like this, you always search and look for parallel lines. Parallel lines are the clue. So let's have a look what parallel lines we have here. I'll show you what I mean. Well, we have a parallel line here and a parallel line here. And the line we're looking for is parallel to that. Notice that? That is horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. They all go together. Now, by using all those horizontal lines, which are all parallel, we can actually deduce what this is here, right? So let's see how we're going to work this out. So this line along here, we know is 55 because back here it says 55. Okay, so let's transfer that down here. So it's 55 along here. Take away 30 over here will leave us the gap here, or the gap here, it's the same, because they're all horizontal, yeah? So 55 minus 30 gives us 25, that'll be 25 there. So let me mark it out for you one more time. The distance across here, take away the distance across here, across there, all the way across there, that distance there, that minus that will give us that there, all of that, it's the same. So let's do that now. Let's work them out. So for area one right over here, we need to find this length here. 55 minus 30 gives us 25. So that means this missing link there is 25. Can I write that in? Let me write that in. 
There's our 25, which means this is also 25 across there. Okay, we've established that. Make sense? Yep. All right. Now that we know that, all we need to do to find this area is what? Length times breadth. We have the missing length. So 60 times 25. So let's do that. So for area one, 60 times 25. which equals on the calculator, 60 times 25 is a grand total of 1500. So that's gonna give us 1500. Okay, that's area one. Area one is 1500 centimeters squared because it's in the units of we wrote down centimeters squared because that's an area. So that's area one all the way across there. Can you see that? All right, now let's work out for area two, which is this one in there, yeah? So that's going to be 30 times the height. Now that height is, is vertical and that's also the same there. Can you see how they're the same? If that's 30 here, that means this is equivalent 30 there also. They're both parallel and they're both vertical, yeah? So that's 20, so that's 20 also. So we can mark that out as 20, yeah? So 20 times 30 gives us a grand total of, let's work that out, area 2 equals 20 times 30. Because that 20 is transferred there. There's that 20, right? That goes there and that goes there. Okay, 20 times 30 on our calculator for area 2 equals, that's going to be 600, isn't it? And that's also a centimeter squared. All right. There's our area two. Area two here, area one there. Now all we need to do is take the two areas, combine them, add them together. Let's do that. So we're going to have 1,500 from up there, area one, plus area two, 600. And that's going to give us a grand total of what all that face is in beige, the total area there. So that's going to give us a grand total of area of the face equals 1500 plus 600 is going to give us grand total of 2100. And that's centimeters squared. So there's our area of the face all the way across there. Okay, we got the area of the face. Now all we need to do is actually work out the volume. And in order to work out the volume, it's obviously face times depth. Now what's the depth here? Can we see the depth written? Which number gives us the clue? The depth is all these lines that go like this diagonally. See them? All, they, all of them are the actual depth. So it's not here. It's not there. It's not there. It's actually there. See that? That is 12, which means this is 12. 12, 12, they're all 12, they're all parallel. Remember what we said that? So that's 12 centimeters. So let's write that down. So total volume of that whole shape is equals area of the face times the depth. And that is area of the face is from right up here. That's going to be 2100. And that comes from here. There it is, 2100. And then we multiply times the depth. Now the depth up there is 12 centimeters. Yeah, you see that? So that's going to be times 12. So let's multiply them. That's the depth all the way across. 2100 times 12 gives us a grand total of the volume of all of this in cubic centimeters in total is... 12 times Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.vividmass.com 
you will find additional resources, cheat sheets, transcripts, and other maths videos that are not available on YouTube. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to get access to all the written answers for your maths questions plus other special offers.